I'm Bob Schieffer, and today on Face the Nation, it's down to the wire on campaign 2014. This weekend, the politicians are racing around the country making last minute campaign stops. What will the Obama effect be? This election's too important to stay home. Don't let somebody else choose your future for you. We'll talk to two of this year's most in demand surrogates, Kentucky Tea Party Republican Rand Paul. If you're a freedom-loving, liberty-loving, leave me the hell alone voter, I urge you to get out and vote for Scott Brown this Tuesday. And Democratic Senator Amy Klobuchar. UN Ambassador Samantha Power is just back from a visit to Ebola-ravaged West Africa. We'll get her first assessment of the situation there. Plus, we'll hear from an all-star panel of analysts. Peggy Noonan and Kimberly Strassel of the Wall Street Journal, Tavis Smiley of PBS, Jonathan Martin of the New York Times, and Mark Halprin of Bloomberg Politics. 60 years of news, because this is Face the Nation. And good morning again on this last weekend before the election that will determine which party controls the House and Senate. It is looking like Republicans will continue their hold on the House, but polls suggest at least 10 Senate races are so close that they're within the polling margin of error, and six of those are within just a point or two. Most of the analysis is that Democrats will lose their majority in the Senate, and for the first time during the Obama administration, Republicans will control both houses of Congress.